Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. This is Zara. In this video, we're going to look at the various skin problems one can have. Not just skin problems, rather hair problems, nail problems, like uh, vertical ridges on the nails, horizontal ridges on the nails, and the deficiencies due to which those skin problems, nail problems, or hair problems occur. So guys, first is cracked heels. If you have cracked heels, those are caused by the deficiency of vitamin B3. So you need to add a vitamin B complex capsule or take a multivitamin that is rich in B vitamins. If you have chapped lips or dry lips, you know, which we usually tend to have during winters more, that is because of the deficiency of vitamin B2 and B3. If you have dark circles, you know, this is a very common problem um, and it occurs due to the deficiency of vitamin B1, vitamin D and potassium. Now you could be taking a multivitamin rich in B vitamins or you could be taking a vitamin B complex separately and still you have these problems. That means your body is not absorbing the vitamins properly. Okay, so you need to do something about that. You need to start exercising more, move more so that the blood flow in the body increases, right? That way it leads to the absorption. It increases the absorption of the food or the vitamins in the body. Another problem is hair, nails, and skin. So dry hair, dry nails, and um, you know, all the dry skin problems are usually because of the deficiency of trace minerals. Now this could be zinc, this could be selenium, this could be magnesium deficiency in your body. Also, your body lacks the enzymes. That means, you know, protease to break down the proteins because nails, hair, and skin are made out of protein. The keratin component, uh, you know, there could also be a hormonal imbalance and then, you know, you're losing collagen peptides or collagen. So you need to add more collagen. Um, you, need, you can also take digestive enzymes that will help in the absorption of the food, the breakdown of the food completely so that your body can absorb all the nutrients from the food that you eat. And you have to correct your hormonal imbalance, guys. Okay, like thyroid and stuff like that can make you lose hair. Then comes wrinkles of the face. I have made a complete separate video on this one. Just, you know, how to get rid of wrinkles on the face or pigmentation or dark skin or dull texture. That is because you lack all the fat soluble vitamins, which is A, D, E and K. Now for this, you need to eat a diet rich in fats, healthy fats like avocado, ghee, coconut oil, butter, and stuff like that stay away from the hydrogenated oils all right then add more collagen and make sure that your body is producing enough bile bile is produced by the liver and stored in the gallbladder so if you have liver and gallbladder congestion your body's your liver is not producing enough bowel then it will not be able to break down the fat and provide fat soluble vitamins to your body and hence you see wrinkles on your face that is a big one guys okay now comes the horizontal ridges on nails so you know let's say like this is your nail this is your nail so some people have horizontal ridges some people have vertical ridges i have vertical ridges you could be having horizontal ridges so horizontal ridges on the nails indicate the deficiency of vitamin b1 and vertical ridges on nails indicate there is malabsorption of food in the body just because your pancreas are not producing enough pancreatic enzymes it's not releasing the stomach acid liver and gallbladder congestion are unable to provide enough bile to break down the fat fats in your body in your food or you have thyroid right you're losing collagen and then there's also hair loss all right so that is all indicated by the vertical ridges on the nails. Then comes the brittle nails. Brittle nails mean, guys, that they chip off easily. Or the dry cuticles. I have this one too. And that is caused by the deficiency of biotin and vitamin H. Okay? If you still have skin problems other than these, then they are caused due to the deficiency of vitamin B6. So B complex is a big one, guys. You have to take B-complex no matter what. You can get it from grains too. 
but since you know grains are also rich in gluten so so you have to add the b vitamin complex in your diet if you have ulcers in mouth frequently or skin rashes like redness of the skin right what we call as rosacea so instead of using the aesthetic creams you know get yourself tested for the deficiency of vitamin b2 and riboflavin so they are redness on your face is because of the deficiency of vitamin b2 and riboflavin it can also be due to or itching of the, on the skin or rashes on the skin can also be due to the sebo guys okay so you have to figure out but this is the main one the b2 and the riboflavin now last but not the least you know again if you have any skin problem you have acne you have dark circles you have wrinkles you have night vision issues that is all caused due to the deficiency of vitamin a again i've made a video on this vitamin a especially the retinal palmitate retinal palmitate version of it not the carotene because that is a precursor that needs to be converted all right this is already a converted form retinal palmitate of vitamin a which is highly absorbable in the body and also again i would say you need to clean up the gallbladder and the liver congestion so how do you know if you have liver and gallbladder congestion if you feel a pain in your chest area right under your rib cage all right and it travels all the way to the back in your shoulder blades that means you have liver and gallbladder congestion your liver is not working properly your gallbladder has become sluggish um and is not functioning properly now you might go for an ultrasound of liver and gallbladder but it will not show up okay so this is something that you have to figure out yourself this is something that you have to um identify yourself uh, you know or a functional nutrition doctor will be able to do it for you conventional doctors allopathic homeopathic they will not be able to identify it for you guys detect it for you so you if you feel congestion around your chest area right after eating food that means you have liver and gallbladder congestion okay now what can you do to remove liver and gallbladder congestion i will show you really quick so to get relief okay hold on to get relief from gall bladder and liver congestion take b limonin this helps clean up the gall bladder and the liver okay this is the bottle this is the brand i take guys wellness resources it's available on amazon i don't know about india or any other country but this is uh from us of course uh but you can search for this product um you know there must be from the other brand available in india and other parts of the country it's called d limonene and it will help you in digestion as well so take one tablet and it is nothing but the orange peel oil that helps um, you know and it's rich in vitamin c and so it helps in cleaning up the gallbladder and the liver so it helps in acidity relief and digestion also if you have in digestion you have acidity gas that's probably because of these problems then you can take this and you will see the difference i've seen the difference guys okay and this is coming from a functional nutrition doctor so but definitely anything you take right any b vitamin or any any tablet any medication do it under the care of your doctor be it primary care doctor like conventional doctor allopathic doctor or the functional nutrition doctor don't do it just by yourself okay all these messages are to give you the knowledge to tell you that you know sometimes people think that cracked heels can be healed just by applying the moisturizer just by applying the vaseline or ghee 
that's not the case guys they're actually happening because it's a deficiency of vitamin b3 so your body is telling you to correct that deficiency okay all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was useful i wish you all the best bye bye take care